All right, I'm just going to go ahead because I'm going to put this on my Facebook and my YouTube channel. This has uh, kind of to do with sewing, but kind of not. Let me turn camera around here. Okay, hey everybody. For those who is windy, and uh, I am in my sewing studio, and of course it's boating season, so I need to pull my canvas top out or the bimini top, morning top, whatever you call it, for your boat. And I want to inspect it to see if there's anything I need to do to fix it. I, you know, fix it myself because it's expensive. It's grossly expensive. I have a top and we replaced it 18 years ago. Yes, I am. How you doing? Hello, everyone. I kind of want to get through this scope quick so I can um, post it on my Facebook page. But the canvas top that I have for my boat is 18 years old this year. And I've only had to replace the windows, the side one. Hello from France. I'm from Michigan. So these are a few things that trial and error by sewing my own and kind of to do's and not to do's. First of all, obviously, you don't use any snaps, zippers, anything that is not specifically designed for the UV brutal sun because it will just corrode. So many times I get boat repairs and someone use like a pants zipper or a dress zipper or a metal zipper, which isn't stainless steel. You never wanna use a metal zipper on a boat top. You always wanna use a YKK plastic zipper. It's a heavy duty zipper for your boat top. So if someone is giving you the hookup or someone sews on the side and they're using poor quality products, you will be back to replace that zipper. Um, there should be a stainless steel metal clip that goes on the end of the zipper to keep it if it's a custom size and it will look like that well you probably can't see it but these are my little stainless steel parts when I do some small repairs um, and then when they're sewing your if, if you can pull the thread and pop it like clothes thread they repaired it with clothes thread that's not good. You need Sun Guard or Sunbrella. There's different brands. There we go, Sun Guard. And I got, you know, basically you get the tan, burgundy, blue, and black. So all the stitch work. Now, like I said, my top is 18 years old and I just wanted I I just wanted to share this one thing cuz I get this a lot. Let me turn the camera around. This is one of my side windows and I've kept it looking like this I have old beach towels but when I say old I'm just saying I bought beach towels and I never use dryer sheets on the beach towels no dryer sheets on the beach towels because the chemical in the dryer sheets yes it will keep away the spiders but it will corrode the plastic <clears throat> you have to excuse me um Another thing is, just behold, any kind of, what do you call it, furniture polish to clean it. No Windex, nothing with ammonia. I just clean, keep it like that, and then when I store it, if I take the top off, and most of my boating buddies know this already, I roll it up so no plastic touches the other, pl no plastic should touch the other plastic. That's how you get yellow foggy windows when you're storing you know over time it doesn't take that long you're like i just bought these well that's why because plastic to plastic and you can see here you're like well i got rust that's not rust that is a burn mark and the reason that was the initial reason i wanted to share this video is because i pulled out my and on the what is that? The south side, the way my boat has been parked in the same spot for so many years, the sun beats on one side more than the other. So guess what happens? The bimini poles burn. There's nothing you can do about it. Those are burn marks. The only thing you can do is prevention because you see the window looks good. 
Well, that's a burn mark from the pole. And I have the clips that go on there, but silly me, you should get the Velcro fabric thingies that wrap around the poles if there are any poles touching the windows because you will get burn marks. Also, every year, try to get a few stitches. See, I have a few stitches. And the, the stitches used to, when I got this made, I don't even know who made it, but they didn't use UV protected. They used good thread, but it faded. This used to be burgundy, and of course this was black, but see, I have to fix this. But no biggie. Small repairs for the long term mean I haven't had to buy a top in 18 years. So, yeah, those are burn marks. Also, if you want to preserve your top, I highly, highly, highly recommend to keep from rot. If you have a boat in the top, this is the big part. I'm not going to open this all the way up because this is the biggest piece. The back window. Now, it's going to fade. But what will happen is rain will seep right through your top. And how to prevent that is when you first get it, every year, treat it with the oil spray. They have, fishermen use it a lot. It's a spray that kind of waterproofs the top. And you're thinking, well, it's a brand new top. It's not going to leak. But you know, it keeps the threads from separating. It prevents shrinking and cracking. And then you will not have to get a new boat top anytime soon. Also, try to avoid, I personally would try to avoid any kind of vinyl, even if it is, you know, it, it just, the cloth lasts longer and you can treat it and it's not as hard and it retains the oil. And in this video, because I'm in my studio, I don't have a bottle, but that was just some little tips as far as don't let people use sewing thread for clothes on your boat tops, wrap your tops up in old beach towels. So two pieces of plastic and never, ever, ever touch each other. Never store your tops where they touch each other because that causes yellowing. Now, like I said, silly me, now I have to replace that, which is no big deal. I'll just cut this out and make a new one, but they cost. So, and always like, let me think. Another thing for my Detroiters, here we go. Here we go. Go to Ross Coated Fabrics. Ross Coated Fabrics is in Hamtramck, Michigan. Google it. I highly recommend. They don't rip you off. You get what you pay for. And if you buy something, and let's say you buy a whole spool of thread and someone's doing it, you have the zippers, just the zipper, button snaps, anything you can think of, any color. And it is a family-owned business. It's a small business. Ross Coated Fabrics in Hamtramck is where I tell everyone to go to get the products for boat repairs and maintenance because it's good stuff. Don't go to Joann's. I hate when people call, I went to Joann's. Well, that's why your top and your seats and everything is cracking and threads are popping because that's for clothes. That's not for, even for patio furniture, it's not the same. Your boat is constantly in the sun taking a beating. It needs the right stuff. So with that said, I'm out of here.